Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day, and today let's take a look at not only Reaper Tech Thanatos, the brand new Thanatos skin that was just released in one of Smite's latest patches, but let's talk about how to play Thanatos. This isn't a how to Thanatos where it's a montage of uh, jokes or stuff like that, basically saying how easy he is or just showing him dominating. This is a game where the focus of my commentary is going to be about how to actually actually do well with Thanatos because it shocked me that I had somehow not figured it out. I don't know if you've ever been doing anything in your life and all of a sudden something just clicks. It's like you've been doing something one way your entire life and then all of a sudden it just makes sense and it becomes easy. I used to have this when I was trying new things in soccer and I was basically learning how to be a better soccer player and some of the abilities that I was trying to uh, gain in my arsenal, whether it was curving a ball into a corner, I, I couldn't get at first. And then I'd take a break, I'd go on summer vacation and then all of a sudden I'd come back and I'd I could do it and I didn't know why but it was maybe just it was sitting dormant and it was ready next time I picked it up after you know just gestating in my mind just ready to be there as I hit the Al Kwong there uh, with a fantastic death scythe one of Thanatos' abilities but I want to tell you that happened to me the other day with Thanatos I figured it out and I want to tell you guys exactly what I figured out how you can be successful with this guy and show you some gameplay although this is a little bit of a quicker game you will see some serious gameplay here as you see the death scythe come out the freeze from the Amir comes down. He hits him with the freeze and the Glacial Strike to slow her, but she is not in kill range. I do not want to die. This is still early game. We do not have first blood and they do not either. I almost get taken out and what you will find there, the Poseidon trying to get that kill, but my Death Scythe does not hit. I felt like it was almost in range. The Alquang pursuing our team and now we have to back up. One of the good things I didn't do there was die and get first blood chasing first blood basically a lot of times first blood happens when the first team aggresses and they almost kill someone but that person has enough peel from the other team to basically survive and the enemy players go so far tracking them back to their own base that they end up putting themselves in a position where they die after they had the advantage one of the things you want to do if you get that chase it but don't chase it too far try and get the kill sure but if you have to put yourself in danger it's not worth it because then you're just giving them a much easier and safer chance to secure first blood of their own but how to thanatos how to play Thanatos. That's really the key for me. I want to show you guys exactly what I learned and, and it really comes in using his abilities in the proper order. And, and the thing is, there is an order to how you want to lock down an opponent. And the reason I really found this out was because I was playing a mage. Now you see here, I hit him with my number three, my silence. I go into an auto attack and I immediately look to death scythe. This is basically going to be what you want to do. The number three is called soul reap. And what it does, not only does it do quite a bit of base damage, 300 damage plus 60% of your physical power, but it gives you a 1.5 second silence. As the engagement's going out, the freeze goes on to the Hercules and I almost take him out with my soul reap. I jump up into my ultimate, but it's not enough. I still land onto the Al Kuang and allow the Poseidon to take him out. But Kali goes ahead and gets the kill. I'm pursuing her still. My death slide just comes up and I get the kill, healing myself on top of that and putting ourselves, ourselves in a good situation. I aggress onto the Aphrodite and the Medusa who are linked up by Aphrodite's kiss. I hit my death scythe and Platypus Adam has the chance to go ahead and finish off the Aphrodite who stayed way too long in my opinion. And she gets taken out and pays the Pied Piper, which is Thanatos in this. It's a very advanced technical, technological Pied Piper. I don't think that's what uh, they had in the storybooks there, but I will say this. The way you want to do this combo to lock people down is to hit your three and then all of a sudden hit your one. You want to hit auto attack in between that, but you also want to make sure that when you're, when you're really looking at how do I go ahead and manifest a, a kill or lock somebody down? Thanatos has this, this really clear chain, which I didn't understand. And again, I'm telling you and I'm telling you again, you hit the three, you hit the soul reap, you silence, you use a couple of auto attacks, and you basically then throw your death scythe at them. Before they know it, they will have not gotten any abilities off and they will be almost at 20% health. This will work for any mage, any hunter, any assassin that you are 1v1ing, and the hunters will be a little bit less, but particularly in terms of mages, because they're ability-powered gods, hunters have their basic attacks. Even assassins can sometimes auto-attack you, right? As the aggression is going on here, the Alquang in a bad spot, and I decide to go up to my ult bit. Now, I've got that, but there's no execute and avail 
available. So what do I do? I find the closest, basically, uh, squishy target I can and land on the Kali. Why? Because it still stuns. There's still pressure. A lot of people go up into that Thanatos, Thanatos ultimate and don't understand the immense pressure landing down and stunning someone, doing damage on them, does to them. The Poseidon picking up uh, Para Pi C Panda? Pagey Panda? I don't know what that is. Latinox there on the Poseidon who was on the Geb in the last Hunbots video and uh, doing pretty well there. But the idea is that with mages, because they're ability powered, if you have somebody like Al Kuang, it's a perfect example. Um, I was in the same example. I was trying to 1v1 the Thanatos, but he would silence me, get a basic attack or two off, hit me with a death scythe before my silence was done. This all took place in about 1.5 seconds, and all of a sudden I had to retreat. Now, if he's if he's strong enough, if he gets a couple early kills, that will put you into execute range, and you will literally be able to 100 to 0 someone pretty easily because you really only need to 100 to 35 them. As I hit the death scythe onto the colleague, forcing her to jump which slows her again that's the second and most important component about this this combo is the fact that once you silence them that's great it allows you to get a couple auto attacks they're confused they're expecting to use an ability on you but they don't realize and don't expect a lot of the times the silence to come out and disrupt their point of view then you hit a basic attack then you hit the death scythe and what that does it heals you but it takes off 10 percent of that god's maximum health plus 380 damage plus 60% of your physical power as the aggression here onto the Alquan. I hit another basic attack, and then when you throw the Death Scythe, the biggest part about that also after the healing, after that huge power swing that you have, is the fact that you then go into... Oh, look, there's the Execute coming up. The Kali jumps away. I have my ultimate available, but I know she was going to get healed up by the Aphrodite, so I decide not to use it. Another thing when you're playing Thanatos, you don't want to waste your Executes uh, if you know that you're close to getting one that will actually count they're close to base aphrodite's linking her i know that's not going to be a good uh you know good chance of actually securing that kill so i just wait we're pushing their base we're really close we're doing well in this game i feel like i can apply a lot of pressure and you guys are going to see exactly how that works and manifests but it's really just me saying listen i can get a better opportunity you see there i do the reverse option which does apply the slow and then get the damage from the soul reap to make him for force the retreat i now go up into the hercules but aphrodite links him and he actually gets the healing enough but again i go and drop down onto the Kali. I hit her with the Death Scythe, death scythe though. She can't run away, but the Aphrodite links her and then makes her invulnerable. Great job by the Aphrodite there, but we do get the two basic attacks onto the Alquan to secure that kill. I miss my Death Scythe for the Aphrodite, and we jump back in looking to basically keep aggressing onto this team, which has no way of peeling us off of their too many squishies. The Hercules cannot do enough, and I am too mobile. I am too uh, hard to track down for him, and they're trying to basically get kills, and that's part of the problem. They're committing and then backing up and not all of them are committing and so we're able to pick them off really well so what we're talking about really what you'll see is sometimes i'll aggress with the death scythe for the poke a lot of the thing is if you're using your death scythe early on you may not be looking for it or kill it's a great finisher it can be but the idea is you want to poke people to the point where when you then go up to fight them you can get them into execute range that is really the key that's what you would love to have because you can really secure your kills more so than almost any other god you see i do the reverse option there but because aphrodite's healing the, the, the result of that is that I, I can't really follow it up. Now, if they want to engage me, 1v1 scenarios can be really good for Thanatos, especially if you build more of a power penetration oriented build because you will hurt pretty hard. I've even seen some people go crit with Thanatos, and to be honest, it works for me pretty well. The Alquang is here, and he and Kali seem like they want to go. Here's the example. You hit the Death Scythe. You hit, you hit the Soul Reap. You do a couple of basic attacks. Then I hit the Death Scythe, and Platypus Adam takes him out. I jump up immediately, and I execute the Aphrodite, and she goes down. I hit my Death Scythe onto the Kali. I use my Aegis, actually, right now to avoid the damage from her damage over time there. The Hercules is here, but he's in a bad spot. The Amir was chasing, but he gets the freeze onto the Hercules. Uh, Latinox with the Whirlpool, and actually, his Tidal Wave pushes her out of Kali, speaking. Uh, oh, no, it was Medusa out of my Death Scythe. It just pushed her out of my Death Death Scythe range for a moment, and that meant that actually, and it looked like, wow, that hit Aphrodite. Did that not hit Aphrodite? That freaking looked like it hit Aphrodite. I do avoid her damage over time. Actually, I'm able to get out of that well enough, and I'm getting healed up here, but you know what? It, to me, it, and that's actually, I think, by Chiron's passive there. I'm getting healed up by that uh, herbal medicine. But you see there just what happened with the Alquang. You hit, I hit the Soul Reap. I silenced him. I got a basic attack or two. And all of a sudden, he's thinking, wow, I'm kind of losing this fight. All of a sudden there, bam, Soul Reap. He's got nothing to do. He's silenced. He can't blink away. He can't escape. What this means is gods can't jump away from you. They can't dash away from you. Now, here's what I should have done. Okay, she immobilizes. She, she, she goes immune. She gets the kill because of a great mirror wall and the pressure 
from uh, on hers ultimate but the thing is i should have hit my soul reap that would have given me another 1.5 seconds to wail on her without her activating her invulnerability and that's the biggest thing thanatos makes people uh crippled he cripples them he allow he doesn't allow them to use the only things that they've got which is usually their kit their abilities and if you have a hunter that's fine but you know what with your death scythe you're pretty much going to be able to get that hunter who's a relatively squishy god in general uh down before he can get you down and you can pop up in the air and either run away or you know obviously you can go ahead and land on him so pretty much anyone that you are going in 1v1 scenarios and some of the squishier classes you're going to be able to do this as you see i'm waiting here for the alquang i go in with my soul reap i hit a basic attack or two i hit my death scythe and now the only reason that fight doesn't end in my favor since i have my ultimate up is because aphrodite links him and heals him and hercules comes over and pressures me into backing up because i do not want to get hit with earth Sh shaker earthbreaker earthbreaker which would pull me back and allow him to get the stun out and the medusa here trying to get the damage buff and it looks like she actually does get it i hit the sword and i do miss the death scythe and so i'm not able to apply that type of pressure slow her and then add a couple basic attacks forcing her to really be in trouble as she's trying to retreat and i'm just staying with her again when you hit your number two you also speed up towards your opponents who are in threshold range. But not only that, since you're slowing uh, with your number one, it's just a perfect combo. I'm here up in the sky, not moving, waiting to see who I want to land on. We land on the Kali, and now she has to force her force. Basically, she's forced to go into her ultimate. But I wait until my Soul Reap is available, and I actually swing it, and it takes her out. Just waiting and baiting that out. The stun pressure allowed my entire team to collapse onto her and go ahead and kill her. And again, Thanatos, I have 10 assists. I have quite a lot of assists in this game. It's not because people are stealing my kills, but you see the death reap oh my god and what does that mean it means i got healed from my death scythe there so much so that i got out of execute range for al kuang and that's the beautiful part i actually got a heal from that and that's why thanatos is so good at boxing because if he hits that number one it not only chunks 10 percent of your life plus 380 damage plus 60 percent of his physical power but it slows you and it also heals him for 75 percent of the damage he deals so he could be healing for 400 health while he's taking off 500 of your health that's a 900 health swing that's insane i pop into my ultimate why to apply the pressure but not only that i assume that she's going into execute range another thing for thanatos is not to wait and wait until they're in execute range you see i hit there the death scythe i hit the soul reap he's already in execute range i use my two to catch up to him because he's already slowed and it also increases my movement speed to target to her in my threshold range i'm gonna pop my number one here to try and chase the medusa but i get blocked by a mirror's wall so i'm not able to finish it off but still you just see this is how it works guys a lot of times i just didn't understand how to really work this but this is just a perfect example for me of how to play thanatos and i hope you guys enjoy this kind of run through i hope this helps a lot of you in trying to figure it out the soul reap and then into the death scythe using the number due to catch up and really catch up to those targets and just finish them off as you just saw there of course thanatos's passive allows him to heal up i jump into my ultimate you see there the alquang does get taken out but i'm waiting for the medusa why i'm waiting for her to go into a more of an execute range but again the on her impales her into the wall out of my execute which i'm just laughing at so hard internally because uh he really trolled me a couple of times this game uh because you know i'm up in the air obviously i'm trying to land on her execute range everyone on the, every team can see that so it's not like he didn't know uh but he went with the impale and it's not his fault i'm yelling at him i'm not really yelling at him i'm just saying it's funny because you're you're trolling me but I think he was trying to actually say it's not on purpose, and, and I don't think it was on purpose. I think he's just trying to get the kill. But again, awareness, right? If you have execute range, I dealt with this when playing execute range gods, and they're on your team. Their whole thing is to get their kills or get their safety by executing that target. Why make that a harder issue than it does? As an on her, you have to impale that person in the wall, hit two basic attacks. Like for me, I just land down on him. As you see here, the, the soul reap into the death scythe, into the, into the couple of basic attacks, and they're out. There's no way they can do it, and they decide to surrender. That is pretty much all she wrote. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video on how to play Thanatos, and I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope there's some value. I don't know whether this is going to be something I do for other gods. This falls into a different place. It's not exactly a god guide. Uh, it's, it's really more of a conversation and in a specific detailed oriented way into how to combo a god's ability it's almost like combo tips and a god guide combined and i've been trying to really figure out where i want the combo tip series to go 
And it may look like it manifests into something like this, where it's more of a gameplay we're watching, but we're having more of a, a, del a, a delineated, linear, focused conversation and discussion on really how do I combo this god's abilities? How do I do well with this god? What what do I do? For new players, this is a very, very difficult thing. They play Thanatos, they see people doing well, but they just don't know how to make it work. It's like having all the ingredients, having all the keys, but not having the recipe book. You don't know when to cook what, you don't know when to throw what into the pot or mix it. That's the issue. And that's why I want to provide this type of content for you guys who like learning gods who want to become better who need that little bit of assistance or nudge just to get headed in the right direction i'm not going to play your games for you you're probably going to be better than me eventually if you keep practicing but just there to support you and doing and being the best that you can thank you guys so much and let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section below i would love to hear your thoughts and if you did enjoy it please leave a like and share it it's always good to let more people know about this type of content and if of course you want to stay tuned to more action here at randy gaming please hit subscribe because that is the best way to directly support me my channel and this positive community of gamers that we are consistently building and that is making smite a better place to play. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, my name is Rain Day. Remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.